Hello, this is Mike Lyle, and this is our second video on Spring Flex. And in this video, we're just going to do a quick comparison of JavaFX to Flex 4, or what we call now Flash Builder. And in a follow up video, we'll be doing a lot more uh, discussion on JavaFX. Absolutely. I'm going to bring this up and just, just do a little comparison here. So if you look at this real quick, it's a very nice environment. It's, 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 it's Eclipse, as you've seen before. And uh, it's beautiful. I love this. But what I want to do is show you something. If I go to File and go to New Project, and I'm just going to choose... Um, I have several choices. I can actually choose just a scripting project. I can choose a desktop project, or I can go right and choose and build a mobile project. So I can go right into my mobile phone. I'm actually going to choose a desktop application. When I do that, just like Flex, I'm going to get a source and design view. So we'll just go ahead and just accept that. We'll call that 10 so I know what I'm looking at. Okay, so you see right here, I, I have this design view, so I can actually start building things in design view. It's still cranking right here, so it's, it, it is a little bit slow. Okay, so uh, one thing I wanted to show you when you look at this uh, environment is that suddenly along here you have like a control panel. See what I'm looking at right over here? So over here is this control panel, just like you have in uh, uh, components panels, just like you have in um, Flex. And you have all these different things you can just drag over to stage and start populating the stage, just like you do in Flex. And so, for example, I could drag a, a button over here, right on the stage. And now what's really cool, what you don't have in Flex, and I'm going to show that to you real quick. Let me, I'm going to open this up a little bit. There you go. I can actually come over to this container again, and I can choose an effect. So, for example, I want to put a drop shadow on that container. Get down a bit lower there, and there's different drawing tools which you don't have in Flex. So this actually has more in it than Flex does. But I could come along. I could go, hey, let's add a drop shadow to the button, and just drag that right onto the button, and boom, now I have a drop shadow. And down this components panel, just like you have in Flex, you have a components panel. I can actually change, you know, the width of the the shadow and 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 uh, the height of the shadow and uh, move it around the offsets and everything else. So I just thought I'd show that to you real quick. Just kind of introduction that you use a lot of those things that we've seen in flex like behavior and, and the ID itself they're here as well. And so you know you might decide hey I don't want to do flex I want to do Java FX that's great but just I'm going to do a comparison of the two technologies all right. You just tons of stuff in this control panel even more than flex but flex itself runs in the, the flash player. And so uh, it, it's very powerful as well. So I'm not downing Flex in any way, but I'm just showing there's a, there is a, an alternative here. And what happens is, is when I drag this button to the stage, if I go to Source View, what it does, it automatically generates all that code for me on the Source View. And so this is code that was generated just as we did in Flex. But this is actually code where in Flex it was is generated not this type of uh, code, but it was generating uh, MXML, if you remember. You may have to recall that. Absolutely. Flash Builder, that's what I'm saying. Flash Builder and Flex are the same thing now. Flex 4 and Flash Builder are the same. And it turns out that in Flash Builder generates what's called MXML when you drag those buttons over. And so you do action scripting in MXML. In Java, it's all just Java code. So there you have it. Just a quick comparison, but we're actually going to do a full study on that. And we'll do several lessons on this because I think it's very exciting. And that's an introduction to that. And uh, I have a little uh, what you need here. And this is going to grow a little bit. So you can see that there's lots of free resources that I've actually put here in this particular view. And below that, I want to discuss where all this is coming from. Okay, And that's my dissertation that I'm working on at UCF. And so in the next video, we're going to actually talk about my dissertation and how that would relate to your project as well. All right, let me go ahead and stop this and start it again.